What's up YouTube, it is AvrielR32 here bringing you guys a regional deck from, uh, uh, the, the name of it will be in the description, Singapore, that's it, that's it. Um, so I want to make a few updates before I went through this deck profile real quick. Um, first of all, um, I want to bring a new segment onto my channel, um, and the channel has just been doing amazing. I have almost 10,000 video views, um, it says on my channel I have like almost 10,000, but yet I look on like my iPad or something and it tells me I have like almost 12,000, so it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, but I have 91 subs, so I am close to 100. I want to do a new segment called True Questions, True Answers. What that's going to be is, is that uh, starting this coming Friday and uh, throughout this week, you guys can send me a PM titling it True Question, and you guys will have your question. Um, it can be about anything. It can be about uh, what's my favorite deck of any format that I've played in. When did I first start playing Yu-Gi-Oh competitively, like going to locals and everything. When when was my first regional? What did I play my first regional? Anything. It can be Yu-Gi-Oh related. It can it can not be Yu-Gi-Oh related. I don't care. You know, any kind of question I'll take, um, and I will try and answer as many as I can in one video. And we will continue to do this at the end of every week on a Friday if I have the time to do it. And if I don't have the time to do it on a Friday, then I'll do it on a Saturday, and if not, a Sunday. Um, so, uh, also, I know that this deck is from a regional, but for those of you who have recently been on my YouTube channel as a subscriber, or even have just been checking back on the channel every now and again, I actually used to do Perfecting the Infernity segments, which, um, I, I did do on my channel for a little bit, and it didn't really do me any good. Like, I, I wasn't really getting a lot of views. Like, I wanted to be known for something, and I wanted to be known for being essentially the Infernity Master, like... <laughs> Like like how Robbie Cole has his has his thing with gadgets. My thing was with Infernities. I loved that deck so much. It was so much fun, just being able to go launch or send and just OTK your opponent. It was so much fun. It was such a fun format t for me. And I, I think, you know, besides the BS that was part of it, like with Frog FTK. I mean, you could pay maybe thirty bucks and you would have Frog FTK built. I mean, it was one of those decks that was very cheap to build, and it was tier one essentially. Like, um, you whipped out $30, boom, you're, you had a tier one deck, you know. This deck was one of the more expensive. I think the most, the most expensive deck of that format was X-Sabers, and Rescue Cat was still around, and all that good stuff. But, um, anyways, I want to jump into the deck profile here, um, but if you guys do go back on my channel and look at my very first videos, I do have some Perfecting the Infernity segments. Some of my older videos I have deleted just because they were really bad. My very first video, my very first video was an Infernity deck profile. And at the beginning of the video, I said perfecting the gadgets segment one. I'm just going to start with a deck profile here of my infernities. And it was just, uh, it, it was a bad video. <laughs> um, but I ended up deleting some, so, you know. And it's it's really cool to see the, the I guess you could call it the very first video, even though it technically wasn't my very first video. Um, but, like, the first video that you see on my channel that is, like, one of my first is from, like, two, three, four years ago or whatever. And, um. Like, not only is my voice, like, higher, like this, but now it's lower, like this. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I was a noob in the Yugi tubing business, and, you know, it's just, it's cool now just to, like, look back and see those videos. It's just like, oh, my God, like, how much has changed? Like, back then, like, after I posted, like, my first five videos, because I was posting, like, two videos a day, because I really like doing Yugi tubing, which I still do, um... And I had like tw I had like 15 subs, then 25, then 45, then 55. Then I dropped down to 25, to 15, then back up to 35, and then I sat at 45 just for like forever. And I'm like, this sucks. And then finally, I was able to get a break. I started thinking, you know, maybe I just need to start partnering with other Yugi tubers and see if I'm able to get some going. Sure enough, I st I posted on the Rune Crusader 53's YouTube channel. I posted on Vexy's channel two or three times. Um. And it just, it, it helped grow my channel. And that's why I've gotten to where I am now. Because now I have 91 subscribers. And, you know, I met other Yugi, other Yugi tubers like at YCS Miami. That really helped me grow. Slim gave me a shout out. And he's got over 12,000 subs. So that really did help. And um, it's just great to just look back and 
just realize like where I am now is just amazing. Like, oh my god, I cannot be any happier with my Yugi tubing than I could be now. Yeah, you know, I, I want to have a thousand subs and all that, and I'll get there. Um, it it's not gonna happen overnight. You know, nothing happens overnight unless it's like the lottery. <laughs> but um, besides the point, I want to get into this regional deck profile now. I know I've held you guys off long enough. Um, but also, one one last thing I want to mention. I will not be posting for the next couple of days. I am in the fourth quarter of school. Um, I'm in high school, as I've said before. And um, so I'm just trying to, you know, stay on task and everything and just get all that stuff done. And um, I will um, try and have... I think there's a regional coming up, so I'm going to probably have vlogs of that. Uh, I think it's in, like, a, several weeks or so. I don't really know. I my My dates are so crazy right now. Um, but anyways, I want to get into this deck because this is really, really, really nostalgic for me, and I'm thinking about building this deck IRL. So, let's get into the deck list. Um, we have three Infernity Archfiend, we have two Dark Greffer, one Stygian Street Patrol, three Necromancer, three Beetle. For the spells, we got Heavy Storm, Rhoda Dark Hole, Foolish Burial Monster, Born Double Duality, Triple MST, and a Launcher. In case you guys don't know, Launcher went to 1, and I don't see it coming back to 3, just because at 3, you could do so many crazy OTKs, and it, it was, it just, it broke open the format, it was so good. For the traps, we got double bottomless, double mirror force, three infernity break, double torrential, one starlight road, double compulse, three barrier, and a solemn duo. For the side deck, we got double tour guide, double soul taker, one transmigration prophecy, Double Crevice, Double Trap Sun, Double Dust Tornado, Double Gozen, and Double Soul, bleh, double soul Drain. <laughs> and I will also have a description to, uh, in, in the description I'll have a link to the guy's regional report and all that. Extra deck, we got Mistworm, Void Ogre Dragon, uh, Infernity Doom Dragon, Stardust, Black Rose, Double Gaia, Cataster, Papillo Operative, Black Ship, uh, May Stroke, Leviathan, Levy Airs, Enmains, and Gachi. Essentially, this deck is more of a control-based deck um, because he's not using Inferno or any of that to quickly dump his uh, Infernities. He essentially had a good matchup against everything um, that he played against that day. He came in third, third or fourth place, can't remember, um, but somewhere around there in the in the top four. I know that, um, but he would pretty much just use Inferno Break to be able to get stuff out of the way and just slowly set up his plays until he was finally able to go off. So, that is pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I didn't want to make this deck profile too long, unlike that 23-minute long that me and uh, Gagex Scapegoat posted. Um, but, you know, I, I do want to focus on my channel. Um, I need to start posting on other people's channels just to be able to help get my name out there. Um, so, uh, I think that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, I would appreciate a like, or if you've got the time, a favorite would also be good. Um, and leave me a comment down below about... Um, anything really you know comment blue bananas i don't know <laughs> um just let me know about what you guys think of this deck really is what i should be saying um i think that's it you guys uh yeah and this oh my god this is just so nostalgic just looking at infernity archery just wants me to build infernities again and i think i'll do that i think i'm gonna build infernities again and just kind of go back to my roots of um yuki tubing because it's been a while and uh, I haven't posted a Call of Duty gameplay in a while either. I haven't really been playing Black Ops 2 that much because I'm already Prestige Master, so there's not really that much left to do. And I've been trying to get my Diamond Camo Peacekeeper. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, I think that's it. Um, and no more Pokemon for the next couple of days um, just because, you know, I've been posting a lot of it. And I'm tr I want to, you know, not give people the wrong idea that I'm uh, a Pokemon or a Poketuber, whatever they're called. Um... No, that, that's a Let's Play. I'm a Yugi tuber so if you guys are just here for Pokemon, you know, stay subscribed. I'll keep on posting that. Um, but just know, I am strictly a Yugi tuber Nothing more, nothing else. None of that Vanguard, Kaijudo, whatever. <laughs> All right, deuces.